If you have had your eyes on Perfumes de Marly, Delina Exclusive, or Chanel Beige, and you just weren't quite ready to pull the trigger on the price tag, you need to watch today's video. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm really excited to share with you a few of the newest releases from Juliana's Perfume. If you haven't heard of Juliana's Perfume, they are a company that recreates higher-end niche and designer perfumes for a fraction of the price. So they have sent me their four newest releases and I'm going to let you guys know which ones are my cup of tea, which ones I really like, which ones I don't really like. So if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we talk mostly about perfume. So if that is your thing, head on down and hit the subscribe button. And if you are interested in any of these perfumes, I will have everything linked down below. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so I have a couple of new fragrances to share with you from Juliana's Perfumes. And as you guys know, I work with Juliana's Perfume. They are are one of the few companies that I have chosen to continually partner with because I have continued to be impressed by um, their products and they have sent me a few of their newest releases that I'm going to go through with you today and tell you which ones I like which ones I don't and my reasonings for that but there are a couple that are really amazing and I think a lot of people are going to absolutely love okay so first let's talk about one that I'm not a huge fan of and not because it's not a beautiful perfume just because personally it's not my taste it's not my scent profile that I really like but if you like the fragrance that this is supposed to be duplicating I think you will really really love it so this is Oud Orange Imperial or Imperial which is supposed to be a dupe for Fragrance Dubois Oud Orange Intense which if you guys know that is a very expensive kind of a highly coveted very high-end perfume personally I haven't found many from Fragrance Dubois that I love just because a lot of them are quite heavy in the Oud and I'm not a huge fan of Oud so that is probably why I don't enjoy this perfume perfume that much. So the notes in this perfume in the top you have fruity notes and coconut. In the middle you have bourbon vanilla and in the base you have vanilla, agarwood which is oud and musk. And I can tell you guys because I do have a decant of the real, actually I have a sample of the real oud orange intense. This smells almost 100% bang on. I would say it's about maybe 5% off and that seems to be the case with most um, replica fragrances or I shouldn't say replica but most inspired fragrances. They often are about you know 2% to 5% off and I'm not a scientist I'm just making these numbers up but they're just not 100% bang on. There's something that's not 100% but in general if you were to smell this I think the first thing you would think of is Oud Orange Intense. This also has amazing lasting power you guys it is incredibly strong so you don't need very much of this it will project and it will last you all day and this particular one retails for only $69 which is amazing compared to the price tag of fragrance Dubois Oud Orange Intense which I think is up in the hundreds and I'm not sure which hundreds but it's up there so if you like that one or if you want to try some fragrance Dubois at a fraction of the price and you like coconut and oud and vanilla and fruity notes, I would definitely suggest giving this one a shot. So the next one a lot of people are going crazy over and this is At Last. And the reason people are going bananas over this one is because this is supposed to be a dupe for Chanel's Coromandel. So again, I have to say I do not love Chanel's Coromandel to begin with. I have a sample of that and it's just not my cup of tea. I just do not like it. I don't know what it is about it. It's just not my not my cup of tea. However, this smells again very, very similar to Cora Mandel. And again, this has incredible performance, really good sillage, really good lasting power. It's very strong. A little bit goes a long way. So if you're looking for a Cora Mandel dupe, you've got her right here for only $69. So this one is quite um, complex. There's a lot going on. In the top, you have orange blossom, bergamot, and bitter orange. In the heart, you have patchouli, ylang ylang, rose, jasmine. And in the base, you have benzoin, white chocolate, woodsy notes, incense, Tahitian vanilla, olibanum, and musk. And I don't know what it is about this fragrance that bothers me. This one and the real Coromandel. There's just something about it that I just don't like. I think it might be how it's kind of like heavy and woody in a way. It's very much a boss woman scent. I know a lot of people love Coromandel and a lot of people describe it as like um, a boss woman, CEO, powerful woman, very upscale, very sophisticated, but for me, it's just not my cup of tea, but I know there's a lot of people out there who will absolutely love this perfume, especially if you're looking for that Coromandel dupe at a fraction of the price. 
So now let's talk about one that I absolutely love. This is so beautiful, you guys. This is Simply Gorgeous, and this is supposed to be a dupe or an inspired version of Chanel's beige. So I was so excited when they said they were creating their version of Chanel beige because that is a perfume that I actually have a decant of and I think is so beautiful. It's just one that I didn't know if I loved it enough to go out and buy a full bottle, especially for the price, because the Chanel beige is one of their Lays Exclusive fragrances and they are a little bit more expensive and and it's a beautiful scent, but I just, you guys know me, I'm trying to keep my scent collection down and I just don't wanna continually buy unless I am 100% head over heels in love with it. This one, you guys, is, as the name says, simply gorgeous. When I smelt this, it was, it was like uncanny. Like they hit the nail on the head with this one. It smells so similar. I would say it's a teeny tiny bit more soapy maybe in the opening. The opening is a touch more soapy than the original. The original one definitely gives you floral vibes right off the hop, whereas this one definitely came across a little bit more soapy in the opening, but then very quickly after that, it morphed into what we all know and love as Chanel's beige. It smells just like it. It is so gorgeous. So in the opening, you have frangipani. In the heart, you have hawthorn and honey. And in the base, you have freesia. So the note composition is also very similar to the real um, Chanel beige. You guys, I just can't stop looking at the bottles. How beautiful are the Juliana's perfume bottles? I'm just going to take the lid off here and refresh my nose. Uh, yes, this is very, very pretty. It's really beautiful and it does smell very similar to Chanel beige. This also has pretty good lasting power as well. I didn't exactly time it, but I would say I got at least about six or seven hours on the skin, which is really, really good. And yeah, it smells pretty much just like Chanel beige. So if you're looking for that kind of yellow floral, happy summertime, fresh going for brunch vibe that just smells really sophisticated and really pretty. This is going to give it to you for only $69. It costs much less and it smells pretty much the same and the longevity is amazing. And the last one that we're gonna talk about today, and this one is my favorite from today's haul, if you wanna call it a haul, this is Inner Beauty Exclusive, which of course is supposed to be a dupe for Delina Exclusive. This one, you guys, is pretty much spot on Delina exclusive. They have done an amazing job. I've smelt quite a few Delina exclusive dupes and this one I have to say is the absolute closest I have ever smelt. I can't really pinpoint the difference either. Like if I sit them side to side and I did sit down side to side with them, I can't really tell exactly what is the difference. So that tells you it's pretty good. I can't say it's sweeter or woodier or more rose or more, like I cannot tell exactly what is the difference. It's not a hundred percent. I would say this is like 96, 97. It is very close you guys. And if somebody walked by me wearing this, I would 100% think they were wearing Delina exclusive. This also has amazing performance. This will last you all day, all night. I sprayed this on my pajama top because as you guys know, I like to try my perfumes out in the evening because that's usually when I've got a lot of time and I'm at home and this did not leave my pajama top until I did laundry. So it stayed there for a few days. <laughs> the bottle again is so beautiful. I love the prismatic effect that you get from these bottles. Look how pretty it is. It's like a little gem. And you guys, this retails for $59. Delina exclusive is above $300 depending on where you get it. I have Delina exclusive. It's one of my favorite perfumes. You guys know that. So in the top, you have pear, lychee, and bergamot. In the heart, you have Turkish rose, agarwood, which is oud, and incense. And in the base, you have vanilla, amber, and woody notes. So I don't get a lot of oud. Just like with um, Delina Exclusive, I really don't smell a lot of oud. I think it's there in the background as like a supporting note. But what I mostly get from Delina Exclusive and from this one, because they are so similar, is just a beautiful, creamy vanilla rose that's got this unique fruity component. So it's got that lychee and that pear and that bergamot. So there is this fresh fruitiness and it's a very sexy, bright, fruity quality. It's not like a super over the top sweet strawberry or something like that. It's this very um, sophisticated, feminine, fruity, sweet opening. Then you get this beautiful rose and a little bit of incense, which gives it just some character and some depth. And then you have this beautiful creamy vanilla base and it's my favorite, you guys. Like I, I absolutely love Delina Exclusive and I love this. Oh, it's so, it's so nice, you guys. Like 
if you have been on the fence about getting Delina exclusive and you just want to get something that smells exactly the same at a fraction of the price and you want to see if it's really for you, I would recommend getting this one. You will have to join a waiting list. This is sold out and there is a waiting list for the next batch. So the sooner you get your name on the list, the better. I can't believe this is only $59. I was thinking like they could charge a lot more for this one, to be honest, because the performance is there and it's such a highly sought after fragrance. So mm, it's just so pretty. It's sweet and it's rose and it's vanilla and it's feminine and it's unique and it's beautiful and every time I wear Delina exclusive I get compliments. Yeah, I would say check this one out. This is by far the best Delina exclusive dupe I have ever smelt. It's incredible and yeah, it's beautiful. So this one was a 10 out of 10 for me for Juliana's perfume. So that was it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these new fragrances from Juliana's Perfume. Again, I will have everything linked down below. And if you haven't already, feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.